Okay, here we're back at it, working on, again, it, I use that word hybrid. It's not really hybrid, but it, it, it's just my way of describing a Panzer II that has had some of the upgrades after the initial battles of 39 and 40, uh, but not all of them. Mainly the commander's hatch is still a uh, two-door uh, and not the cupola. Okay, been working on some uh, extra track links. Uh, I, I bought a kit just for parts. So those are the parts. So this is a pre-built early Panzer II with a rounder front. I took those parts out those parts out and then added the extra armor and the angular front uh, so then i have extra wheels i have extra tracks i've actually traded uh, with some of the tracks and some of the wheels with other collectors okay these i'm using the kits uh, links which instead of having the nice metal a pin it has this little small plastic uh, but it's okay because what I'm planning to do is reinforce as I've seen in some images reinforce the front area here with track links uh, first step is you know deciding what to do with the vehicle uh, and right now I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with, with the winter theme. Uh, basically a Panzer Grey Panzer II with haphazard uh, white added on uh, as would be, let's say, for the Battle of Moscow. I, I found a, a possibility of a reference, let's call it that, you know, in a... For the Battle of Moscow, eleventh uh, Panzer Division, and I saw an image of a similar Panzer III with the angular front, but not the cupola. So that's what I'm going with. Also, by now I kind of run out of parts. You know, I've made four different Panzer IIs: uh, one Poland, one France, one Russia, one Desert. Uh, and in one of them, I decided to use the tools from the kit. Uh, I'll put some pictures. The tools are not bad. Once, once everything's painted, they look fine. What is very, very not fine, it's the uh, grossly oversized uh, fittings, the hinges. But... What I did is uh, initially initially made some room for the files with the X-Acto knife. And I don't know if you're able to see it, but these are fine. Once I, I'll put a picture up of before and after because I basically did them all. And I recently got a new set of files in Amazon. My goodness, I, I sure need a new file. After so many years, I think my files were all back on. These are almost disposable. I say, uh, very cheap set. Got it in Amazon. I don't think it was $15. And if you're Amazon Prime, they even charge posted. Uh, so I remember when I first did this more than anything with the Exacto. Uh, to get see this plastic area comes double what you see here double so initially with the exacto whittling away and then fitting one of the files the smaller one square so that, that I would get the corners and then with this wider one 
completing the job. Also I have this also relatively recent acquisition, these sanding sticks. My goodness, they're they're wonderful. So to get rid of everything is gonna be painted. So to prepare the parts as usually you would do with any kit, kit you would sand the uh, mold lines. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I already added the lift hooks to the tank. Uh, cleaned it up with some some a rag with some water. Basically, all the parts are ready. This is gonna make the build much quicker. Uh, the jack is fine as it comes. Again, this is a pre-built early Panzer II that I added some kit parts uh, to make it uh, a later version. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'll use the Notec. Probably not. For sure I won't use the fire extinguisher. I'll use the armor packs. I'll also add a rear Notec. Uh, and off we go. More later.